Promotional codes are where the customer enters a code on the cart page to receive either a benefit or a discount on the uh, on the order. In the case of a discount, the discount is made against the subtotal of the order. Um, the benefit might be free shipping or it might be a free product added to their cart uh, when they enter the code. So um, firstly, why would you want to use a promotional code? Um, the reason you want to use uh, promotional codes or, or coupons come to that is to track your advertising. Okay, the uh, you know this is really important. Yeah, the only real uh, method of marketing that works really well for small businesses is called direct response marketing. And what that means is you only want to spend money on marketing where you know that you can track the response rate that you're getting from that marketing. So imagine if you spend five hundred pounds on an advert in a magazine this month, and imagine if uh, uh, imagine if you don't put a promotional code or coupon code on the on, on the advert, and then imagine if your sales go up this month, then obviously you're going to make the connection between your advert and your sales, and you're going to think, wow, you know, I placed that advert, I must have my sales must have increased, and as a result, you're going to spend five hundred pounds the next month as well, probably repeating the advert, and this will go on again and again, even though. The, there may be some completely different reason why your sales went up. It may have been some other marketing you've done. It may be repeat customers coming back. It may be a seasonal shift uh, uh, in the in the demand for your particular type of products. So, what you do is you put a promotional code on it. And so, imagine if uh, imagine if uh, in this case you put a promotional code on your on the advert that you spent five hundred pounds for that says enter ABC one two three at the checkout and we'll give you free shipping. Uh, then, the beauty of that is that then. Everyone who sees your advert is likely to enter the code because they're going to get a benefit from it of free shipping. And then you, on Roman Cart, you'll be able to see exactly how much money you've taken as a result of people seeing your advert, which then makes it really good because you can work out whether uh, it's money well spent. But it goes slightly further than that as well because imagine if you spent £500 on an advert and imagine if um, you only make £100 as a result of the advert. Now, in many cases, uh, merchants would say, well, okay, you know, I've spent £500, I've only made £100, I've lost £400. But uh, the truth is that the value of your customers is in is o over the long term. So, uh, you know, it's very expensive to gain a customer initially, but most customers uh, or most businesses have customers that come back and buy from them again and again and again. And Roman Cart, once you've been using Roman Cart a while, a Roman Cart will know your uh, the average spend of your customers over one, two, and three years, and then it will map that against the return that you've got on promotional codes. So if we take this column here that you can see here, PFV, that's predicted future value. And what that is, uh, when you've used a promotional code, uh, the, the cart will show the total value of orders uh, that have been taken where the code has been used. But predicted future value uh, calculates how many customers have placed an order, how many unique customers have placed an order with you using that code, and how much are they likely to be worth with you over one, two, and three years. So you know, to summarize this, how this works is, you'd say you'd spent 500 pounds on your advert and you'd only made 100 pounds worth of sales. So imagine that £100 worth of sales was with, with 10 customers and imagine the cart knows that over three years your customers are likely to spend £100 with you each. That will turn a £400 loss on the advert into a £500 profit. Uh, and so this is it, it because you uh, and, and why it's a £500 profit is because with those 10 customers over three years you'll have taken £1,000 from them. So sometimes, uh, the, sometimes these kind of statistics you need to have a real kind of think about these and and uh, this is the type of thing that gives you real uh, kind of uh, it gives you a kind of real advantage over other merchants who aren't aware uh, of how uh, of how to track this kind of response rate. So uh, you do that using promotional codes. Now promotional codes, as I mentioned before, are per order. Uh, if you want pro if you want a promotional code against a, uh, a specific product or products, then you would use coupons. So promotional codes are per order. So let's just add a promotional code here. In fact, let's just uh, talk about this here as well, because there's three different types of promotional code. We've got uh, standard promotional codes, promotional code algorithm, and a dynamic promotion for use in an email. Uh, a standard promotional code is what I'm going to talk to you about here. Promotional algorithm, imagine that you wanted to send, uh, create, I don't know, 500 different codes that you wanted to send out. You wouldn't have to enter 500 different codes onto the system. All you do is you enter an algorithm. In other words, you would, you would, you would tell the card what makes a code valid. Uh, and once you do that, then you can create your own codes based on the algorithm. And there's a separate screencast which explains that, which you can uh, see that in more detail. And uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to include a promotional code in an email, say for example you want to send an email out to all of your prospects and say use this code to get a free product or whatever it might be, 
then uh, you rather than uh, and you only wanted uh, and you wanted to send one code separately to each customer so that they don't they can't like hand it round and use it again and again and again. Uh, then you would use a dynamic promotion for using an email. And again, there's a separate screencast on that as well. So let's create a standard uh, promotional code. If you click on the Add Promotional Code link at the top left-hand corner, then the screen appears. So let's just do uh, uh, let's have free shipping. And for this, the code we will have free ship one two three. Okay, a promotional type you can either have percentage, direct, free shipping, or free product. So, uh, and free product and free shipping are really cool because, like I say, if you do it uh, in an advert, you can you can uh, have money off the shipping or, or an actual free product added to their cart as well. Uh, but of course, you can also direct is where you have uh, a specific amount of money off of the order. So say uh, it might be five dollars or five pounds or whatever it may be. Uh, you would select direct, and then you would enter the uh, amount of the reduction in the amount field there. And percentage, if you wanted say twenty percent off, you would select percentage and enter twenty percent there. But in this case, we're going to do free shipping. If you were giving away a free product uh, when they enter this code, then you would enter the item code of the free product there. On orders over, so this uh, is the, uh, the the value of the order that this will apply to. Let's say we're going to give free shipping on orders over twenty pounds. Uh, this particular cart is in pounds, uh, and then there's some other options down here as well. You can tick if the promotional code should only be used once. It says, e.g., used as a gift certificate. Now, remember though, uh, the difference between uh, this and and real kind of gift vouchers or gift certificates is there is no residual val balance stored against the promotional code. So uh, they can, you know. It, it, it will only give the specific uh, discount or benefit that, that is set up here. Okay, and uh, you can click here to select products that uh, it applies to. Now, this isn't the same as coupons. All this means is, if you select products on here, it means that one of those products must be in the cart for this for this promotional code to actually work. Okay, so then if we add this promotion by clicking on Add Promotion, then here's the details here. Uh, the name is Free Shipping. The code is Free Ship One Two Three. The dates, uh, yeah, you can select the dates on there as well. I didn't mention that, but so you can select the dates from which uh, the uh, the period for which this promotional code will be valid. The type, free shipping, single use, no. The value of this, okay, it doesn't really uh, apply to free shipping, but if you'd entered a percentage or a discount, uh, an actual direct uh, discount amount, then that would be shown in there. For orders over £20, times used, it's not being used at all. The total value of all the orders that have used this particular um, code is zero. Unique customers, there's been no unique customers, and this is the predicted future value. Uh, in other words, the return, uh, you know, how much money you've made from, from uh, sales using uh, this promotional code uh, is shown there for one, two, and three years. You can edit the promotion there, and you can delete it there. So let's just, uh, let's just uh, show how that works. So if we add um, a bottle of claret, now, of course, we need to have the, have the total over... Uh, the subtotal actually over twenty pounds. Let's just have three of those. That's twenty nine ninety seven. Let's have free ship. One two three. Click on apply, and then you'll see shipping cost is now zero. And it says instead of shipping, it says free shipping promotion. And then the customer can go through to the uh, checkout and pay for the order. So. As I mentioned before, this is a great way to track your marketing, particularly kind of adverts in magazines and that sort of thing, so that you can really see how much money that you've made from the money that you've been spending on marketing.